So we're going to keep talking about how to solve exponential equations, but we're going to focus this time on my exponential equation by using some properties that we know from logs. So I have three equations that we're looking at here, and we're going to use the definition of logs to be able to rewrite my exponential equation in its log form. So remember, how did we do that? We start by taking, by, by looking at the base. So if this is the equation I'm looking at, the base of this function is 10. So we just say log, because that's log base 10, of this, which is 8.07 of the argument, is equal to the exponent x. So right away, we were rather quickly able to get the variable I'm solving for out of the exponential position by simply rewriting this using the, um, using the definition of logs. Now, because this is a log base 10 or an LOG log, then I can just go to my calculator and find out, well, what is the log of 8.07? So when I pull up my calculator, let's clear all this out. I can take the LOG of 8.07, enter, and I get an answer of 0.91 if we round to two places. So x is equal to 0 0.91. And that's how I am, uh, one way that I can be able to solve an exponential equation. Let's try that here again. We have this equation here which says 9 e to the x equals 107. So my variable x is in the exponential position, and I want to isolate this part, the base, along with the variable. So I'm going to do that by dividing both sides by 9. That leaves me with e to the x is equal to 107 divided by 9. I'm going to leave it as, a, as the fraction that it is, and I'm not going to do it on my calculator just yet. Now, again, because my variable x that I'm solving for is up here in this exponential position, I'm going to rewrite this guy as uh, using the definition of logs. Start with the base. So the log of base e, remember that the log of base e is just ln of the argument 107 divided by 9 is equal to the exponent x. So there we go. x is equal to the natural log of 107 divided by 9. Natural log is also another um, function that I have on my calculator. So we're going to put this into the calculator, which would be the natural log. Oops, too many. We're going to try that again. The natural log of 107 divided by 9. It goes so slow on this calculator. 107 divided by 9. And we should get 2.48 when we round. And that's the solution that we're looking for. So this is using the idea that I'm going to rewrite my exponential equation using the definition of logs. Let's apply that same concept here. Um, again, my variable x is in the exponential position, so I'm going to start with the base. This is log base 5 of the argument 17 equal to x. So I got x out of the variable position, and I found that x is equal to log base 5 of 17. Now you'll remember that I don't have a log base 5 on the calculator. So unless you have a special formula already built into your operating system on your graphing calculator, at this point we're going to use solve for x or find the answer, evaluate the expression, so to speak, using the change of base formula. The change of base formula said that it's the log of the argument in the numerator divided by the log of the um, base in the denominator. Now I chose to just take the LOG of the, of the argument divided by the LOG of the base. Remember that we could have taken the LN of the argument divided by the LN of the base. Either one of those two choices are a work for me because I have both LOG and LN buttons on my calculator. So since I can see the LN over here on the uh, side of my screen. That's the one I think I'm going to use. So I'm going to take the ln of 17 
make sure that I close my parentheses before I hit the division button. Divided by the ln of 5, enter, and I find out that the answer is 1.76. x is equal to 1.76. Okay, so I want to just kind of recap this for you and show you that we had three different examples here where my variable x is in the exponential position and we were able to use the definition of logs to rewrite my exponential equation in its log form. The only one, the last example that we looked at, was the one that I couldn't put directly into my calculator as these previous two because the last example had a base of 5, so we had to do the change of base formula. And this is one method of using logs to be able to solve exponential equations.